Hunters have a reason to smile this season. A lot of the state got quite a bit of rain this spring, and, and obviously that does a lot of good for the habitat, grows a lot of groceries, made for real good fawn crops this year, and but also uh, really benefits antler quality. And, and even in West Texas, uh, we had good rainfall that benefited uh, antler quality in, in mule deer and horn growth and pronghorn. We think it ought to be an excellent year. And that's excellent news for the state's economy. I mean, deer hunting is huge in Texas. It's a $2.1 billion industry. And so many, many local rural economies depend on, on deer hunters. It's very important that this state uh, manage for you know, very healthy, sustainable white-tailed deer population. That means keeping deer numbers in check. Too many deer in one area can cause illness and possible die-offs in the herd. If you're fortunate enough to hunt an area where you can take up to five deer, well, please do so. And if that's more meat than you want in your freezer, then donate your venison to Hunters for the Hungry or some other charitable cause. Biologists are also asking hunters to help monitor deer for chronic wasting disease, a neurological disease that is not known to affect people, but is eventually fatal to deer. Well, hunters don't have to have their deer tested for, for chronic wasting disease, but we sure would, would appreciate it. We'll have them tested at no cost to the hunter. Uh, we're going to advertise the dates and times and locations where our biologists will be located throughout the state. And with an excellent forecast for deer hunting this season, it's a good time to get the next generation involved. We do have a youth season. We ask hunters to take advantage of that, get kids outside. They're the future of, of deer hunting in this state. Take advantage of any opportunity you have to get them out hunting early. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Karen Lope.